um, we got in contact with Age Action to see would they like to join up with us. So it, they just help us with um, advertising, finding people, um, with resources, and it's a great way to make links with the community and for our students to see, you know, the other side being a teacher, so it's not me standing at the top of the room lecturing them, they get to sit down one to one with another person and teach them the computers. Well, I started, you see, knowing, knowing absolutely nothing. So, I've, I've come on a bit, I've, they're definitely good. I'm glad I've done it, I'm glad I'm doing it. So, and the course is, is better, it's one-to-one, -one and I, it's much easier when it's one-to-one. -one. Because there's so much to learn, you see, it's a totally, different, totally new language and everything. Computer, especially if you haven't done it before. So, today I know, today's lessons were how to book restaurants and how to book air, Ryanair flights and all this kind of thing, which is very handy too. <clears throat> that uh, no matter how much you know, you'll always learn something more because people know different things, you know, so that's about, about all, all I can add to it really, you know. Oh, I, I've learned an awful lot. Um, I was kind of bit nervous about um, Googling things, but now it's no problem. I learned how to Google anything that I wanted to know, really. It's fantastic. Oh, I can, yeah, I can send emails and um, send them different um, samples of cooking and flowers and you name it. I would recommend it. And I have a very good tutor and um, Anything that I want to know, I just write it down and bring it along to him, and um, he's A1. Uh, no, it's great to have one to one, really. It makes all the difference because I actually did a computer course going back a few years ago and I was totally lost. So I would really recommend uh, this. Uh, we were helping a group called Age Action, so it's a charity that they just help the elderly kind of find their feet with the computers. I always had an interest in helping out uh, other people, so it just gave me a chance to help them out and bring them along as well with me. Uh, they catch on well. Uh, sometimes, right, as, as most people, there be things that they find tough, tougher than other things, so same with all of us. Like. So if they have any questions, we'd always be happy to help them. So uh, as well as that, we'd have activities for them to do uh, for when they go home, so they can just get more practice in. I have uh, two nans at home and they, as well as that they wouldn't be f familiar with computers and smartphones and stuff like that so I'd recommend them to do it as well. I wouldn't be aware of it but I'd encourage them to find out about it and just give it a lash. Like, it's more of an era of technology these days so everything's bought through the internet or stuff like that so yeah I would recommend they try and do it. Um, my name is Maeve Daly. Um, we were teaching the elderly in the locality how to use computers and all different kinds of skills with the internet and things like that to help them out. I was dealing with a lovely fellow named Brendan Mitchell and he was just a gent and a pleasure to work with. Do you feel you're tall enough? Uh, I think so. Like he, I was really surprised at what he knew already coming into the class and he was able to do so many things so I think it kind of showed me as well that you know, they know more than we think they do. And um, yeah, he was lovely to work with. Um, he was mad to learn how to book hotel holidays and flights and things like that. So I went through all of that with him and I showed him how to use his credit card details and to book things and um, also how to use Skype. So he was delighted with all of us. Um, he was telling me he has cousins and relatives over in America and so he was delighted to be able to contact them and you know he could throw them on text or speak to them which he wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So. I think that a lot of them don't realise they need it or don't realise they kind of I'd say look at it like oh do you know sure what use have I but um, I think that if a lot more people were aware of the skills they could learn and how much of a difference it could make I think it would be brilliant. Yeah definitely I think it's just a really good experience and more than anything it was just rewarding 
and like you genuinely felt like you made a difference to the person's life. He's more independent and as well it was just nice to talk to somebody of a different generation so to get to know them. My nan and my granddad and I feel like if I could get them to knock out a computer now they'd be brilliant so. Uh, not yet but I plan to. <laughs> I think it's just a really brilliant experience and it's been so beneficial for me and for Brendan as well, like we both got a lot out of it. So I think that it's definitely if something, if you have the opportunity to do it, that you should definitely do it. Or uh, helping all people learn about computers and uh, just setting up emails now and stuff like that, just improving their knowledge of computers and stuff. One man says, uh, Pat McGrath, he's from uh, Shannon Street. Did you get to know him well? Yeah, chatting away with him when we're working on the computers and stuff like this. Did you expect that? Yeah, I thought the minute I seen him, like, he was a lovely man, like, so I thought I'd just chat away with him, like, yeah, I think, like, he's a lot, he's learned a lot about it and stuff like this. He, his knowledge is better of, you know, computers and stuff like this now. So I'd say he'll be able to take on a lot more. Yeah, i definitely do it anyway. Like, it's better to know about it than not know about it. Like, you know, computers now are kind of taking over the world in one sense, like, so it's better to know about it than not know about it, like. So that's all I'd say, really. Uh, we were teaching um, the older community to um, work with computers and like the knowledge that they already have had we were like helping them expand on that knowledge and like look up different stuff like uh, emails, social media, um, booking flights, YouTube, everything really. Uh, Margaret is uh, the name of the woman that I was teaching. To be honest, um, she was a really nice woman and it was like, uh, you know, I was really nervous coming in at first because I was I don't know this person and like it actually wasn't that bad once we started talking and we actually had a lot of things in common like uh, she kept up with the politics you now in America and all that and I have an interest in that myself so we got to talk about a lot of different things. We set up a Twitter page for Margaret and um, her friend knows after following her on it and everything and next week we're going to like put up her profile picture and all that and I taught her the security of it and how that like just her friends can follow her on it and like she can approve who's following her on Twitter so we went through the security of it really because it's kind of hidden away like sometimes even for people my own age like you'd have to be aware of the security features on it as well. I think security on the internet is very important because it's a thing that like both, like no matter what age you are, it's important. Technology keeps progressing and moves on and you don't really want to fall behind. So I think it's really important to have things like this as well on a social aspect of it uh, and like a learning aspect of it as well. Yeah, I think it is fun and I like engaging with different people. Although I might be nervous about it at first, I did think the whole experience was fun and um, you know, the way certain people would have a perception of teenagers and you'd have a perception of like older people as well. So it was good to like get to know the person.